We just went to a wedding. I got a question for you. Why do we give gifts to people getting married? These people are in love. They don't need things to be happy, right? We should give gifts to people getting a divorce. <laughs> Because when you're alone, crying in a studio apartment, that's when it would be good to have a really nice toaster. <laughs> I've been there. Sometimes toast is the highlight of your day. <laughs> if things get really sad, bring that into the tub with you. Some of our traditions happen at the wrong times. Obviously, the bachelor party should happen right after the divorce. <laughs> Cavorting with drunks and strippers is no way to prepare for marriage. <laughs> but if someone has sucked your life force for a decade, you might need to hang out with some old friends and spend $301 bills. The bridal shower is a weird tradition. You get together with the bride and you give her sexy underwear. All right, you already got this guy. You don't need sexy underwear. Show up naked. That's all we care about anyway. <laughs> You're embarking on a journey. You gotta stay close with the person for a long period of time. The, the bridal shower should, should be a pep talk about lowering your expectations. <laughs> Hilarious place for a grown woman to clap. <laughs> and how telling is it that women celebrate what's to be with a bridal shower and men celebrate what was with a bachelor party? Because <laughs> a wedding is a culmination of so many little girl dreams coming true, you know? And for guys, like, well, I guess she got ya. <laughs> Let's go look at some other naked ladies one last time. <laughs> Engagement ring's a weird tradition to me, right? What's the fancy ring for? As a couple, you have accomplished nothing. <laughs> right? You've done nothing yet. What's the big celebration? You had 10 years of marriage, then you get your fancy ring, because you did something that's hard, you know? You don't get a ring for being drafted in the NFL. You have to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Traditions, man. Timing's weird on some of them, right? The confirmation. Catholics, isn't that a little early? Really? You're 13, you're deciding whether or not you believe in God? A little young, I'd say. The greatest thinkers and philosophers since the beginning of time try to decide whether or not there's a God. Let's ask the kid with the acne and the braces what he thinks. <laughs> you can't ask a child a question like that. You gotta ask a grown-up. All right, you're 57, none of your dreams came true. You're upside down in your house and your wife can't stand to hear you breathe. How do you feel about God now? <laughs> Spring break, that's a weird one. All right, you get up early and you start drinking with your best friends in the world. That's not really a break from college. <laughs> that's what college is. Spring break for, should be for the parents, right? Every spring, grandparents should fly in to wherever the grandchildren live and take over for a week, and the parents go to Daytona and take their clothes off and puke on their feet. <laughs> that would be a break. Housewarming gifts, that's a weird one. I just moved into the neighborhood, now you're bringing me a pie? I can't make a pie. What are you, showing off that you're a better homemaker than I am? That's how we're starting this? All right, you win. Why don't you bring your genius homeschool kid over too? Obviously, that's a joke. No homeschool kid is a genius. <laughs> Long standing tradition of uh, serving people drinks uh, to people on airplanes. All right, that's cool, but what about the people on the bus? Because if you're on a bus, things are not going well. You could use a drink. Give that man a gin and tonic. Maybe the strangest tradition of all, right? The retirement party. Really? You're giving me a gold watch? 
on the first day of my whole miserable life that I don't care what time it is? <laughs> I've been looking at a watch for 50 years. I'm never looking at a watch again. Watch me trade this in for a hammock. <laughs> <laughs>